What's going on YouTube? Modeling up back at you today for your reviewing pleasure. I have from Warbird decals the 172nd scale space shuttle tiles. Um, with uh, Ravel looking to re-release the 72nd space shuttle, uh, I thought this would be kind of a cool time to get these out or get a review of this out. Um, these were printed back in 2014, um, and uh, they were printed by Scale Master. They obviously because of the age. Pretty hard to come by. I uh, lucked into this set, uh, which I have for my original monogram release or Ravel monogram release, uh, which does come with the boosters uh, as well. So, um, yeah, so let's get into it and see what we have. Obviously, the counts for the decals are going to be quite high, um, just because, again, it's varying panels all the way all over the ship. So, or craft, however you would want to call it. <laughs> so all you have is a single-sided sheet. So reviewing down, have again top surface tiles, wing tiles, and then a nice speckly pattern for the bottom, which trying to mask and do this um, could be done, but would be an absolute nightmare. So, you can see here, it also gives a couple of things like painting the rudder black before applying the decals, things like that, just a clarification. So, let's get into the sheets, and I should say, and I do mean sheets. Um, there are multiple sheets uh, in this set, so, and if you have not seen a 70 second scale space shuttle, they are massive. So, um, again, uh, let me make sure it is sealed very tightly. But standard Tamiya Extra Thin bottle. Just going to give you a sense of scale real quick. But we have around the windows. Have, again, what makes it nice is you do have all of the panel lining and things like that. That is very, very visible on the shuttle. So this is sheet 104. Set that to the side. Then we have kind of the front section here. Carrier film looks like it's right up against the decals, so it should be really nice in that regard. Kind of catch it in the light there, but through you can see just how beautiful that is and again how much of a nightmare this would be to try to paint then go into three which has uh, the wings so top and bottom and then the last sheet here which is your vertical tail fin and some of your nose here. But again, to give you an idea of scale, like that would be your vertical fin. Just like that. So absolutely, absolutely massive aircraft. So like I said, um, Warbird produced these back in 2014. They are a bit uh, scarce to come by. But hopefully uh, with the re-release of the 72nd scale uh, shuttle, even though it's not, I don't believe it comes with the boosters now, but um, still this would be a very highly desirable set uh, for anybody who is actually wanting to build the shuttle. Um, again, just to get that right look that the shuttle has. So hope you guys like the uh, quick little review here on it. If you have any questions or comments, definitely post them below and I will catch you in the next one.